Hi everybody, this is Denise with PurplePaperParadise.com and we are here today for Sure Cuts A Lot 3. I had a request from Leanna to do a tutorial on welding in Sure Cuts A Lot. So typically uh, a lot of crafters use welding to um, make word art and so that's what I thought I would do uh, some welding on. I have two different words here. This first one, uh, purple, is done in the font called LD Cotton Candy from Lettering Delights. And uh, I'm going to show you how deceptive a font like this can be with welding in uh, Surecuts sure Lab. But we're going to actually start here with the word paper. And this font is LD Imagine That and also from Lettering Delights. So now obviously when this font comes out on the, the uh, mat here it is separated and it's not overlapping and in order to weld together you need to have um, two items touching one another so that they can actually weld so I'm going to show you how I go about doing that when I have a word like this now in sure cuts a lot you have to ungroup your font before you can really work with it. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to Object and Ungroup. And now what that allows me to do is it allows me to select each letter one at a time. So I'm going to go ahead and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this middle P as my grounder and I'm going to take the letters on either side of it and move it in um, to this letter P. If I start with my main letter and then move my A over and then the P and everything then by the time I get to this R it's going to have to move over quite a bit so that's why I try to work from the middle and out. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the A and I'm just going to select it and then I'm going to use my keyboard keys to move it over and I think I'm going to use the rotate here on this one and just rotate it just slightly uh, just to make it a little bit more interesting and then I'll go ahead and select the capital P and move that over here as well and then I can select my E and move that over to the P let's see that's good there and then my R okay so now I have everything overlapping now if you see over here in the appearance box you're going to see a check mark box here that says weld. So I'm going to go ahead and select that and when I do that you're not going to really notice any of a difference on your mat at all. And this is one of the things that I think is a little frustrating uh, when working with sure cuts a lot because I like to be able to like really see that it is all one piece. Now in order to see that it is welded, you have to select this preview screen up here. And then you can see that these gray lines are grayed out. Those are lines that will not be cut. The red line is where your blade is going to cut. So you can see that everything here is welded. Now there is another way to do welding and I'm going to show you that with the purple word here. So I'm just going to click on my mat and it will go back to regular mat viewing as opposed to preview. So up here, this is a font that it's designed so that the letters when you type them out are automatically overlapping. And so if we go to our preview window on this one, you can see where the letters are overlapping here, but they're not welded. So that that is a key thing here is that you have to understand that they are not welded by any stretch of the imagination when you're using a font like this. So again with this one I'm going to go ahead and ungroup and now I'm going to select it all again. Oh, let me make sure I get that bottom P all the way. There we go. And now instead of checking this weld box I'm actually going to go up to my path menu and select union. Now when I do that you it might be a little hard to see but you can see that there's no overlapping in the color on the mat as opposed to where I go down to paper and you can see that the red is darker where they are overlapped and if we go to our preview you can see that there are no gray lines now so this is now officially welded and it's actually joined all together as one word 
um, and I just prefer to do my welding that way in sure cuts a lot because that way I know for sure um, that everything is you know working as it needs to be and it's all welded together um, I cannot select each individual letter without selecting the whole word so that is um, welding in sure cuts a lot three I hope that helped out some of you and please come to my blog, purplepaperparadise.com, and I will have more videos on Shortcuts sure Lot 3 here in the future, especially for us eCraft users. Love my eCraft. So, talk to you all later. Thank you so much, and have a great day.